All right, welcome to another episode, guys. My name is Mani Karthik, and in this episode, we're going to take a look into which are the best alternatives out there for the Zoom app. Let's go. First of all, I don't have anything against Zoom. Many people say that Zoom is a Chinese app, but my problem with Zoom is that it has a lot of technical issues. As in, whenever I try to log in from my mobile device or my Windows laptop, sometimes it doesn't let me in, even if I give the right meeting ID, or sometimes it pushes me out, or sometimes it freezes, it doesn't work. So there are these annoying things that happens with Zoom that makes me really angry with Zoom sometimes. So somehow Zoom is very popular, unfortunately or fortunately, but I was thinking maybe we should all use other stuff than Zoom because Zoom is not the best piece of software out there. In my opinion, there are a lot of better pieces of software out there for video conference. And by the way, Zoom is not a Chinese app. You see, that logic doesn't work because the only connection Zoom has with China is that the CEO, Eric Wan, is actually from China, but he's a US citizen now and he runs the company from the US. So if we were to use that logic, we should also say that Google is an Indian company because Google CEO or Alphabet CEO Sundar Pichai is actually a Indian origin person, but he's actually an American citizen now and he operates out of the US. So if we were to say that Zoom is a Chinese company, we should also say that Google is an Indian company, which I would love to say, but unfortunately it's not. So let's get that out of the way. Okay, so let's check out which are the best five alternatives for Zoom. Okay, so my first recommendation is Google Duo. As you can see here, Google Duo is an amazing piece of software. I think it lets you add 12 people into the conversation right now. It used to be two before, but I think they've expanded it to 12 because of the pandemic situation. Whenever I use Google Duo, it's very seamless an experience. I mean, I never, almost 100% doesn't run into any sort of glitches, unlike in Zoom where there are a lot of errors and stuff. But Google Duo is really, really a solid piece of software, which is why I like it. The only limitation is that you can only add 12 people into the meeting. So that's a bummer. And you have to also download the app. So that is also a problem because if you want to invite someone, then that is a problem. But the big thing is that it doesn't have any time limits like Zoom. Because in Zoom, as you know, the free version has 40 minutes of limitation. And that is not the case with Google Duo. So I recommend Google Duo if you have only 12 or under 12 participants on the call. It's a very seamless and smooth experience. And that's what makes Google Duo so lightweight. Let's get into the second one. So my second recommendation is Facebook Messenger Rooms. I don't know if you have tried this, but this is something new from Facebook. It's not the same as Facebook Messenger, guys. It's different. It's called Facebook Messenger Rooms in which you can create a room and add people or friends into that room and they don't have to download Facebook Messenger app. That's the beauty of this. So unlike Google Duo where you have to download the app, in Facebook Messenger, you don't have to do that. All you have to do is come to this page, which is messenger.com slash rooms, or you can start it from WhatsApp also. On the top right corner of WhatsApp, you'll find a link where it says create messenger rooms. And once you create the room, you will get a link. And that link can be shared with anyone you like. They can click on the link and jump in to the call right away. And that's the beauty of it. The only problem is that you can only have 50 people in the room and that's a big issue only 50 people can join the room and join in the conversation so, so that is a bit of an issue but it's very easy to use like the first time i used this it was a very seamless experience i just have to click on the link and it immediately started the conversation and the video call so that is really nice i think 50 is a good number like if you wanted to do some sort of a college reunion or something i think you could do it right within messenger rooms so try it out it's available on messenger.com rooms the link is in the description below check it out and let me know how it worked out for you okay so the third recommendation or the third alternative to zoom in my opinion is Microsoft Skype. I know what you're thinking. Are Skype video quality is shit and you know, don't use it. That's what most people think. So the thing is, you're right. Last time when I used this back in the 90s, uh, the video was not that best. I mean, it was kind of smudgy and everything. And, and today we have these amazing HD quality video streams. And now when I look back at it, Skype didn't have the best quality video. And that is true. But what has happened in the last couple of years is that ever since Microsoft has acquired Skype, things have changed dramatically. Things have changed for the good. Today, it has a new product. It's called Skype Meeting. For this, you don't have to have a Skype ID. You don't have to sign up. You don't have to download the Skype app. And you can just create this link, share it with your friends and start calling. Simple as that. 
Just like messenger rooms, you only need the link and anyone with the link can invite other friends and they can jump in without downloading the app and start talking. And the video and audio quality is very, very good. Amazingly better than how it was back in the 90s. The only problem is that it has a 50 people limit, which means only 50 people can join in that particular link and be in the conversation. But the good side is that it doesn't have any limitations on time. You can have 24 seven talk on this software. That's amazing, isn't it? So if you have a meeting going on in Zoom where you have to re-log in every 40 minutes, tell them, get on Skype and use Skype meeting because in there, there is no time limits. All right, so the third recommendation I have is again, a Google product, it's called Google Meet. Now, previously Google Meet was called Hangouts. I know for those of you who have used Gmail for free, which is almost every one of us, they would probably know about Google Hangouts. So Google Hangouts got rebranded into Google Meet, but it's a crazy solid product in the sense that just like Google Duo, I don't know if it's the same as Google Duo in the backend, but the experience is very much similar. As in when you start the meeting, it's very simple, it's lightweight, it's easy to get started with, it's buttery smooth. Buttery, buttery delicious smooth. So unlike Duo, where you have to download the app, in Google Meet, you don't have to download the app. You come over here to meet.google.com, the link is in the description, do check it out. All you have to do is click on start meeting, you get the link or get the code and share it with whoever else. And they can also get started with Google Meet. The only problem is that you have a limit. There is a limit of 60 minutes, which is almost one hour is free on Google Meet. And you can have up to 100 people in there. So it's a little bit more than Skype. On Skype, you have only 50 people allowed, but on Google Meet, you have 100 people possible to join the meeting. So that is awesome. You can even have like conferences and stuff on there. Just that there is a one hour limit. So you can't go beyond that. So as you can see, the trend is like, if you have so many people allowed, then the time comes down. If the time is too much, then the number of people comes down. So Google Meet is on the other side of the spectrum where you can have 100 participants, but there is a one hour limit. So on the other side, you have Skype meeting where you have unlimited time, but the number of participants is limited to 50. Okay, so we have one more app and that app is Talkie. So talk is something that I found with some research and it's not very popular, but it's a nice little piece of software that I think needs a lot of encouragement. And I like these little software from small teams that, you know, it's kind of like not many people know about it, but it's really awesome. So talk is a very simple video chat and screen sharing option, and you don't have to download anything. Just come to talkie.io. The link is in the description and you can create your own customized name for your meeting room. So it'll be like talkie.io slash moneykartik's meeting room and you click on start a chat and you will get your shareable link and then share that link with anyone and they can click on that link and start talking with you right in the browser. This is not an app. It happens or exists in your browser. So it is Internet Explorer or Google Chrome or Safari, whatever it is, it'll work within that browser. That's the beauty of it. Unlike Zoom, unlike Google Duo, you don't have to download anything. Everything happens within the browser. So that's an amazing thing. Although there are limitations with this, you can only have six people involved, but guess how much time you're allowed? No time limits. You can have as much time as you want, but only six people are allowed in this app. All right, guys, so that's pretty much it. I have you five different alternatives to Zoom. The problem with Zoom I have is not that it's a Chinese app or anything, it's just that it's really difficult to work around Zoom. Most of the times it throws errors, it doesn't let me enter into a meeting even if I punch in the right meeting ID or sometimes it freezes, sometimes I can't hear the other people's audio. So I don't know why Zoom got so popular, maybe because it's free, but then even with the free option, I don't like the 40 minutes limit. Like I've been on meetings and conferences where I had to log out every 40 minutes and come back, you know, everybody will log in and that's really, really Really, really stupid. So if you were looking for an alternative to Zoom that had unlimited time, then you could use Talky, but then the number of people are limited to six. And in Google Meet, you don't have to download anything. You can create a link and share it with whoever you want. And there, the limit in time is one hour, but then you can have up to 100 people on there. So conferences and things like that could be on Google Meet instead of Zoom. So if you were to ask me which is the best one out of these five, I would choose Google Meet because Google Meet, you don't have to download anything. You can just go to Google Meet and get that URL that you can share with anyone. And you have 60 minutes, which is almost one hour of time. In Zoom, you know that you only have 40 minutes. So in Google Meet, you have one hour. 
Plus, you can have up to 100 people in there. So that is amazing. And I love Google Meet for that. So, and their experience is awesome. I've almost 100% never run into any kind of issues or technical glitches with Google Meet. So I would recommend personally Google Meet instead of Zoom. Try it out and let me know how it goes. If you know of any apps, please let me know in comments as well. And if you like my video, please hit the like button. If you didn't like it, please hit the dislike button and let me know why you dislike my video. If you don't want to make it public, just send me a DM on on Insta or Twitter. I would love to hear your feedback. This is Mani Karthik signing off. See you in another video.